Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Lee here for the 911 Blacklist. Yeah, I'm in front of the camera, which is unusual really for me these days. But this is kind of a special kind of thing which I'm doing. So I thought I'd uh, give you a bit of an explanation as to what's been going on. So it's unfortunate, but I've had to literally delete all my content from TikTok. Um, it all started really back in 2017 when I was putting a lot of my 9-11 blacklist content on YouTube. And then the censorship police got involved and started messing around with it. And eventually I decided enough was enough and I took it all off. And I started right then and then I started right here on BitChute. And that's why this channel has been running for just over three years. Primarily because of what happened on YouTube. Now, at the same time, I actually thought to myself, right, well, I'll try another platform. And it seemed that TikTok was uh, um, an up-and-coming platform. And people were putting a lot of their stuff on it. And, uh, well, I thought I'd give it a go. So, first time around, I put the 9-11 blacklist on TikTok. And it was going really, really well. Uh, in fact, one one post had 1.3 million views. It was... And then the usual happened. The censorship police caught up with the channel and uh, eventually they banned the channel completely. So I left it alone for a bit and I thought, well, shall I bother? But then a friend of mine in work actually encouraged me to go back into TikTok and have a second bite of the cherry, so to speak. So I did. And for the past year, maybe longer, I've, uh, for the 9-11 Blacklist 2.0, I've been putting a lot of the stuff on, but trying to avoid the censorship police and the inverted commas break, breaching the community guidelines. Because what I'm finding now is that over on TikTok, they will, um, they will ban or delete posts and they will use any part of their community guidelines, even if it doesn't breach that part of the community guidelines, they will enforce it from that, and they'll use that excuse to delete your post. And I was just getting fed up with it, to tell you the truth, I really was. So I thought, well, um, being as I've been putting all my content on BitChute anyway, the idea then was to just say, right, that's it. Cut my losses with YouTube, cut my losses with TikTok, and just plow it all into BitChute. And that's why the primary channel, the only channel, the exclusive channel for the 911 Blacklist from here on in is going to be right here on BitChute. And I can tell, tell you now, if you've enjoyed the content, if you've seen the content that I put out there and you enjoy it, well, you're going to get loads more in the future. All I can say is that I, at the moment, as we're nearing Christmas and all that kind of thing, might not be as prolific as, you know, in the next coming months. So it might there might be a little bit of a hiatus, but, you know, there's going to be a lot more great stuff, primarily because Bitchu are great in as much as they don't censor my material. Uh, and it's really it's a really great platform for that. No, it's not. It doesn't get, uh, you know, millions and millions and millions of views, but it has all my stuff, you know, uncensored, unfiltered, and exactly the way the producer, that's me, wants it to be shown and heard. So that none of the audio is censored, none of the video is censored either. So everything is going to be on BitChute, and YouTube and TikTok are now gone. Uh, I only, I spent a, a lot of my time just last night um, uh, taking all my stuff off TikTok for the final time. So now I, ha I have all that stuff on my computer. And now I can say for the fir very first time, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, I know you, you might have seen a lot of this stuff before. But um, I don't know whether I'll be able to put it all in one block. But we'll see. I, I don't know how long it is because there's quite a number 
of short clips because this is the thing with TikTok. You know, you can only put on short clips unless you put on a video. I have put on some videos, so we'll see. We'll see how, how long. We'll see how long. I don't want to bombard you with it too much because the attention span of anyone is, is not that long, really. Um, so let's see. I'll see how, how long I can get away with. Uh, but it's it's short. Most of these posts are short. They're punchy. But what I've done, um, I'm going to compile it and put it all together just for you. So you're going to see straight after this introduction, you're going to see all my posts from TikTok uh, right here, right here on BitChute uh, straight after this. So uh, I can um, all I can say is if you've um, stuck with me for the past, I think it's three years, one month or just over three years um, for right here on uh, BitChute. Thank you very much. If you've come over from YouTube, if you've come over from TikTok to join us on the um, the 9-11 journey, the JFK journey, whatever kind of thing I decide to put out there for the 9-11 blacklist, I really do um, thank you for doing that. And uh, I really do hope uh, you continue to enjoy, enjoy the journey into 2023. So uh, as far as those um, TikTok posts go, Let's take a look.
everyone. So apparently, according to TikTok, it's hashtag thank you day. So I just thought I'd take the opportunity to thank everyone, literally everyone who's contributed to the 9-11 blacklist so far on its second time around. Some of you might not know that the 9-11 blacklist has been on TikTok before, before it got banned. And I couldn't understand why. And because every single episode or upload that I put up, I, I submitted an appeal and it, they restored my upload and I thought I was fine. Well, as I'm learning on the second time around, that it doesn't really matter whether you have an appeal which has been restored, they still um, have an account warning. I still have an account warning um, because the amount of videos that they originally deemed to be um, kind of breaching their community guidelines. But the crazy thing now is that I've got about six or seven videos um, which haven't breached their guidelines, but they still um, are there as though they as though they have. It's all, all very strange. I've kind of reported it multiple times, but hey ho, you know what? It's 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 all it's all gravy, so to speak. I'm learning all the time, and all I want to say to you guys is thanks for sticking with me. Uh, thanks for being here for the 9/11 blacklist second time around. Even those people who um, are deemed, in inverted commas, the haters. I don't really like that terminology, to tell you the truth. But guys who keep on badgering me, I want that. I really like that in the comment sections. Because if 9-11 it, if it, if was just a one-sided topic and everybody was all kind of agreeing with each other, it would be boring, wouldn't it? So let's face it, people who, who kind of go with the official narrative and those who don't it, it makes for a, a great debate great discussion so thank you thank you thank you to everyone who's contributed giving me some amazing feedback as well it has been a, a great it's been under two months since i've been back so hopefully tiktok will in inverted commas leave me alone and uh, just let me get on with it uh, so thank you thank you to everyone Who's, um, who's, who's coming along for the journey the second time around. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. All right. 